These gorgeous chestnut mushroom and red onion pies are great for preparing ahead of time and make a delicious warming winter supper. Now to start with, I've got a red onion that I've peeled and cut into quite thin wedges that goes into a roasting tin. And then I've got two bags of these diced butternut squash and sweet potato. So saving lots of time on the preparation here. I'm just going to add some olive oil, about a tablespoon over the top, and just give that a quick stir. Now these need about 15 minutes in the oven. And while they're roasting, I'm just going to prepare these lovely chestnut mushrooms. All I'm going to do is nip them in half. If there's any particularly large ones, you can quarter them. And the chestnut mushrooms are going to bring that lovely nutty flavour to our pie filling. There we go. Once the vegetables have had their 15 minutes, pop them out of the oven and then add those mushrooms in. Just give it a good stir together. And then they just need a further 10 minutes to cook the mushrooms through. The vegetables have had their time, so I'm going to take those out now and pop them on the hob. And then, just to make sure we get a really good rise on the pastry, I'm going to raise the oven to 220. I've got four individual pie dishes here. I'm just going to spoon vegetables in, and they're going to be really well filled, which is how we like our pies. And of course, you could make one large pie if you prefer, and they're perfect for freezing too. There we go. So that's our dishes nicely filled. And I'm going to use the tin that we roasted the vegetables in to make the sauce so we get all of those flavours from the bottom of the pan. So just quite a gentle heat. And to that I'm going to add a splash of water and a couple of tablespoons of brandy. And some fresh thyme leaves. Now I'm bringing it to a simmer and then with a wooden spoon just scrape up all of those juices from the bottom. Now just give it a moment so that the brandy evaporates off. And now I'm going to stir in a tub of creme fraiche. And to season it, a little grating of nutmeg. And some ground black pepper. I'm just going to carry on stirring until the creme fraiche is melted and blended together to make this fragrant sauce. The sauce has come to the boil, so I'm just going to turn it off and then to make it easier, I'm just going to tip it into a heat proof jug. And then just pour that into each pie dish. So the filling's all ready, the only thing left now is the pastry. And I've got a block here of puff pastry just on a lightly floured surface and then I'm just going to roll it out large enough to make lids to cover each of those pie dishes. So I'm going to stop now and cut my pastry into rectangles and then I can roll each piece out a little bit more if I need to. Then I've got some beaten egg here. I'm just going to brush that around the rim of the pie. And then pop the pastry on the top and press down really firmly to seal. And then just trim around the corners if you want a neat pie. There we go. And then use a fork to really press down well. And then a little bit more of the egg on the top. And then a little finishing flourish, a couple of rings of red onion on the surface. And then finally just a little hole in the centre to let any steam escape. And that pie is ready to bake. And then carry on as you've made all four pies. So the pies are ready to bake and in they go for about 25 minutes. When the pies are ready, they are puffed and dark golden brown, piping hot inside. The ultimate in comfort food, chestnut mushroom and red onion pies. Mm -hmm.